guys, so obviously you can tell I'm in a bit of a different background today because Jamie has kindly said he's going to help me cook some smoothies. Yeah, man. We don't cook. No, I mean, mate, see, that's <laughs> where I need help. This is where I need help to make. So in my daily vlogs, I'm always making smoothies, but they're just like, they're bland, they're a bit boring. Okay. So I just wanted some help. Wicked. Okay, well, look, listen, if we're going to do smoothies, then let's get everyone vibed up about it. Yeah. Uh, there's a kind there's some stuff here that I already use. Yes. Myself, which is good. And That's it's a start. It's not rocket science, but there's a kind of rhythm that makes it A, really nutritious and really healthy and really balanced. Um, but also, there's another kind of rhythm that kind of guarantees you like delicious flavour. Yeah. Fresh bananas. So, dude, peel that and into yeah. your blender. Um, right, are we going to be doing one each? We'll do one and then we'll do another one. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the other thing is, guys, is um, when you do a smoothie, like a lot of people seem to be making them these days, um, companies and stuff, and it's just a lot of juice, it's a lot of sugar, yeah. and then it goes from being healthy to sort of like just too sugary and not so healthy. So kind of getting your dairy in there, and that's your milk and yogurt, and of course if you can't have milk you can use, you know, almond, um, milk. almond milks, there's nut milks, they're quite interesting, you can swap yeah. them out. Getting your carbohydrates in there, really, really important, and the oats, porridge oats are really good for that. Um, when you whiz these up in a smoothie, you won't notice them, but they'll slowly release energy, so uh, it will kind of keep you through yeah, till lunchtime. I have these for breakfast quite a lot. Yeah. So I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, I kind of already missed breakfast, but I'm hungry. Yeah. And I just make myself a smoothie. This is perfect. So this is the one. So one banana goes in. Yeah. One handful of porridge oats goes in. Yeah. Um, we'll go like a couple of tablespoons of yogurt. Also, I want to see you guys making this. Like, tag me on Instagram and everything, and Jamie. Yeah, I'd love to see it. it. Definitely. Um, you want about, you know quarter of a pint, half a pint of milk. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go in with fruit. Now guys, down here, um, if you go into the supermarkets, the cheapest way to get really in-season delicious fruit uh, is frozen. And I, I know it sounds a bit odd, frozen, fresh, but like things like frozen strawberries, frozen blackberries, these are always picked in-season because that's when they're at their best, most nutritious and they're cheapest, and then they're really quickly frozen. Like, if you think about it, we're all a bit bonkers in Britain because we buy strawberries all year round. And yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, but strawberries taste yeah, rubbish. For like, yeah, and blackberries this time of year, horrible. I really like mango. I've so, never had frozen mango. Yeah, so you can I've buy them. It's mango. super cheap. Um, and you can get, uh, you can go and buy them yourself or get mum and dad to buy it. Just a big handful goes in. Um, by being frozen, it's A, going to be refreshing in your palate. It's going to wake you up. Yeah, yeah. Um, it also gives you a kind of fake thickness. It goes super thick. But then, of course, when you drink it, it kind of melts on your tongue and it feels really delish. Um, and then, two things that really ramp up flavour is li oh, lime. I've never done that. It's, it's done the that. secret. It, it, lime juice on any fruit kind of makes it go incredible. Okay. Um, and you have to trust me. Um, so we'll just, the juice of like half a lime going in there will make all the difference. And then, some nuts. You can use any nuts you like but real lovely goodness in there um, and again helps it become a breakfast instead of just a drink. This goes on, uh -huh. you just got to press the magic button bro. Wow. And then another little thing that's really important and it's not chefy at all, it's just about like, you know, fruit's always different sweetness and, and different flavours, mm -hmm. it's not always the same is what I'm saying. So you have a little taste, it's pretty good, it needs a bit more lime juice, okay? Um, so you can adjust it. So That's good. For me, the perfect That's smoothie. That's really good. Yeah. So for me, it's texture, it's temperature, and you want that balance of sweet and sour. Yeah. So you, do you remember what you just tasted? Yeah, yeah. Right? That little extra half of a lime, and that should be quite a bit better now, just from a little squeeze of lime. So it's just being aware of things you put in the mouth and taste it. It should have a bit more twang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. That's our. I can really taste the mango as well. Absolutely. That's good. Now, if you had half a pint of that, um, you're edging towards a completely balanced breakfast. Um, and you can see in that one batch that we've done. Yeah, that's enough for two. That is. That's me and Zoe done for breakfast. It's so cold and good. Yeah. Really good. So, do you want to do one on your own now, bro? And let's mix it up. Let's go a different colour. Right, we'll change um, it up. So another liquidizer, a little yeah, trick I've though. I've never even thought of it in there. Well, look, if you roll it like this, right, you break all the cells inside the lime, and you get more juice out of it. But also, there we go. The Smell oil, good. yeah. So if you cut that out, bro, are you safe with a knife? Ish. I mean, kind of. 
Let's do an Alfie Days freestyle now. Let's try. A handful of these, you said? Yeah, just a little handful. And that's what takes it from a, a, a drink to a breakfast. When you add the nuts and the oats, it becomes really healthy. Looks good. Come on. Now this, this throws me off because I'm like, I'm like measuring it out. And you're like, oh yeah, just like a quarter of this. I'm like... About a quarter of a pint. Oh, I don't know what Say half a pint. pint. Is. Well, you just guess it. It's fine. Because the thing is, as well, that? yeah, that's fine. You can add a little bit more later if you need to let it down. Yeah. A little bit. Just a tablespoon of yogurt. Get your calcium, get your dairy, get your carbs, mm -hmm. get all your lovely protein from your nuts. Now to the fruit. Let's load of these in. Let me get put some, some of those in. in. Right, yeah. And the great thing about frozen fruit as well is that you don't waste anything. You know, sometimes when you buy the fresh stuff, oh, it's yeah, really, well. really expensive. If it's the wrong time of year, it tastes horrible. Goes and out of date quick as well. Absolutely. Really quick. Always squeeze from a height. Really? Yeah, and wiggle your bum when you do it. It makes no. it taste better. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle your bum when you squeeze it. That's it, yeah. Yeah, tastes good now. Yeah. Oh, you're going for the second straight away. I like your style. Might as well. Yeah. Wicked colour. I, like, I really like that bit at the end, like when you like, like reenact when you like when you turn it off and take the lid off and it just goes blip blip blip. <laughs> I never noticed that before. I love that bit. From a height, that's it. Always styling it, Alfie days. Always styling it. Nice. I know you guys know how to do a smoothie, but it's quite nice to kind of get it down so you know it's always super healthy. There's a few little tips in there to get the flavour up. Yeah, I like that. It's that thick, tastes it? like, like a breakfast. So you're happy with that? Mm-hmm. What's your really favourite? Happy. Mango or fruit to the forest? I'm more of this one. Are you? Yeah. I'm leaning more to this one. What does that say about us? We also did a video on yours, didn't we? Yeah, uh, we did a, I think it was quite a funny okay. video. Um, it got a bit weird, just to warn you, before you watch it. I don't know about weird. It, it was, was. It was the tale. The true colours came out. <laughs> of, as a romantic <laughs> man. I, yeah. It was just me as a more mature well, man, these. handing over my experience and of wisdom. loving girls through the, 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 through the art of baking the most awesome cookie with extra frills. And it's the extra frills, I think, that freaked you out a little bit. Yeah, we're like but. cooking naked and stuff. You'll have to go and see it to see that. And yeah, obviously, we made drinks. You have a drinks channel as well. Yeah, if you like smoothies and other drinks, we've got loads of drinks on Drinks Tube. Check it out. Uh, and of course, if you want to see uh, this uh, beautiful cookie recipe, come over to, to Food Tube. Link down below as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs>